And we are starting the YouTube. Boom, boom. And, and we're the ready last to rock thing, and roll. Let me make sure that I rescan audio devices. Let's do it. All right. Ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. In three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Business Bros. Woo! Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we can say that now. Big show for you. Have you ever wondered what it's like to get over 5 million views on social? Yikes. Have you ever wondered what it's like to have like 40,000 followers? Woo-wee. I know some people that dream of that. How about if the majority of your transactions that you close as a real estate agent, your leads came from Facebook and Instagram? That's like what most over of them two want. thirds. That's what most of them want. That's what most everybody's out here looking for. I wish I knew somebody who did that. Oh, wait. We do. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, today's podcast is with Mr. Gabe Mendez, who has those in fact stats. I mean, a living legend. He's killing it out there. We're going to be talking about Instagram today. So yesterday I had a little grim- glimpse of Facebook. Today we're going to talk to somebody who's doing it, just like Kevin was doing it. Gabe has been doing it. He's been crushing it. I know you've seen him on social. I have. Right? I know you've seen his content. You've seen him closing deals. Let's learn how he does it. Gabe Mendez, thank you for coming on the show again. What's Welcome. going on, Thanks, fellas? Man. Thank you guys for having me here. Dude, I need I need you to drop some knowledge on me today. Yeah, we're coming with the heat. But first, all of you guys who are watching out there on Facebook Live, these guys are catching a lot of traction. I just want to say I'm proud of, to be a part of what you guys have going on. Seriously, it's such an honor to be here. So thank you guys for being adding so much value to people. Super awesome, excited to be here. And I wanna talk to you guys about a couple of things. One being social media and how to get business out of it and what I've been doing. And we all wanna know because we're, out of all the real estate agents out there that that are trying to do it, you're doing it right. I mean, there's a lot of people posting stuff. Yeah. People put things online. Yeah doesn't necessarily mean they're doing it right. Right. So we want to know what you're doing different. What's what's the key to success here? So the number one thing is you guys have to figure out, I think it's a, it's your branding, right? Who are you? First, determine that. Who are you? The second question that I, would, I would ask all of you guys out there who are watching is who's your target target demographic? Okay, so it's just like prospecting, right? You're calling, mm-hmm. you're, you're sending mailers out there. There's a certain image that you want to give across. So on Facebook and on Instagram, especially Instagram. So I want, I want to focus mainly on Instagram. Um, make sure that your presence online matches that demographic's taste, right? And it's not being fake, not being fake whatsoever. Keep this in mind. If we were to travel today to China, there's rules, laws, different culture uh, ideas in that culture that to us are normal, but to them would be shameful, right? Mm-hmm. For example, spitting on the sidewalk, you know, I think can get you jail time, right? And so in the Middle East, you don't stare at the women, things like that. It's not being, it's not being fake. It's, a cust- it's customizing who you are to their culture. You're acclimating. You're acclimating exactly who them. So same thing on social media, like respect other people's cultures, respect the way they view you, respect how they want to hear the message, respect the way you dress. All of those things matter. Dude, I'll give you an example. Uh, way back in the day, right? And uh, way back in the day, I mean like 50s and 60s, right? Yeah. When you had a small business, it was your life, right? People who, who would go to the butcher knew the butcher by name. People would go to the corner store. You knew the guy who owned the corner store. You would get credit from the store because you had a personal relationship with right. that person. It's kind of like the same thing in social now. You have a business. And the only difference is before you'd walk and talk to somebody in person, now you, your business is still the same way. You're still building those relationships. They're just the communication, the way you talk to them is a little bit different. So yeah, you have your, your I don't care if it's geographical, I don't care if it's age, gender, whatever it's gonna be, you have to focus your attention on who your audience is because that's who you're talking to. You, you, that's who you're gonna nurture. That's who you're catering to. That's who you're gonna hang out with. Yes, you attract who you are, right? Exactly. So you're gonna attract that type of person, the type of clientele. So it's very important for all of you guys who are out there is to really determine who is the target demographic. Who are you guys going after? How do you want yourself to be perceived on social media? So I tell my team that your 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 Instagram is your resume. Mm-hmm. That's what they're gonna do. So on my business cards now, it, it's strictly my name, my number, my Instagram handle. No email. No website. I don't need that stuff. I need you to know who I am right away. Right. Look at who I am. So what do I want to show you? 
what kind of messages, what, what kind of message am I relaying to you guys? You know, am I out there partying every single weekend? Do you guys, uh, am I twerking right? Am I doing like those kind of things? Which is not bad. Right? Wait, 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 wait. I saw you flossing. Hey, yeah. like that, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool, right? <laughs> so you are doing yeah. fun stuff. It's fun, man. So it's a lifestyle, right? You know, you're not being fake. You, you, you're being you, but you have to tailor it. So you, you have to be careful of what you're posting out there. Okay, so tailoring. Okay, I've heard a bunch of different stuff. I've heard you need to make funny videos. I've heard you need to make uh, videos that stop your thumb. You need to grab the attention in the first five seconds. You need to, uh, I don't know, use CGI, use a green screen, mm-hmm. use all these different things. Mm-hmm. I mean, but none of those, none of them are like a magic pill. None of them work 100% of the right. time. And I don't care if you put out one media social media post or one paid advertisement Mm -hmm. one thing doesn't convert right right there's no magic pill what do you yeah it's not one i mean although i've had one video that was like probably one of the best not the floss (laughs) but i've had had one video that uh, did really really well i got a a lot of good responses a lot of messages from which were my how-to videos so how to uh, what to expect things to avoid those type of videos so if you guys are watching you guys want to know what kind of content to push out it needs to be diy do it yourselves so how to do home improvement it needs to be how to's how to buy a home in san diego with zero down it's a perfect catch perfect question right so in other words you're you're giving value a hundred percent value and it's constantly going right so you, you're adding that type of value to people you um, know most people are afraid of that though it's like why am i going to tell you how to do something you're not going to want to do work with me why. if i tell you why here's why because the more that you give, the more you get. And it's in the Bible. Bah! Boom. Boom. Done. Podcast done. Let's Podcast go. done. Walk That's away. it, man. Yeah. <laughs> the more that you give, the more you get. No, and, it's, and it's, but it's true, right? Right. And everybody says it. I don't care who you listen to that's successful. They've all said the same thing. Uh, give, give, give. Yes. And you're going to receive. Yes. But that, that's, the I think, one of the core differences when you're talking about social media uh, marketing is that people go out and post something and say, buy from me right now. Oh, no. Right? And that's, that's it's in social, and, and, and it's because it's social media marketing. We're so used to seeing a commercial that says, check this out, buy it today. So what do we do? We replicate what replicate we've seen. Replicate all of that. And it's, the, it's probably the worst thing that you can do, especially in this day and age where buyers and consumers are so, they're so savvy. Like they have all this information at their hands. No one likes to be sold to anymore. It's all about relationships and building connections and adding value, right? So those how-to, those DIYs, those type of videos, that's an excellent cornerstone, a perfect starting spot for anyone out there who's stagnant in their business like okay how do i generate new business again and look there's plenty of business out there mm-hmm. so i can do a diy video one way and you can do it a completely different way and we're going to attract two different types of people that's just how it's going to be yeah. they're going to vibe with with uh, your pretty face they're going to vibe with your voice which is perfect for podcasts Thank you. i like it man. appreciate it's it a good voice <laughs> and you're going to vibe with me a little differently right so it's going to be two different types of business so it's totally okay Let, let's share this idea plus this whole real estate thing a rising tide lifts all ships so if we're out here encouraging each other, loving on one another, um, helping each other out, those kind of things, the community of people are going to see that. So don't bad talk another person. Don't go comment something negatively, that kind of thing. That's just kind of a little side note. You wouldn't say it to their face. Exactly, dude. So, so why, say, why are you going to do it online? Don't even do it online. Yeah. Don't, even, don't even think about it at all. Encourage someone else that's doing it. Use that as inspiration. It's like, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it too. And a lot of you people who are out there watching right now and listening to this, keep this in mind. I have this question asked all the time. Well, Gabe... You do it. So if I buy your style, isn't that kind of copying? And I even have people who ask me, yeah. like, Gabe, are you okay if I use your style of video? Like, dude, it's not my style. You're not copying. It's there for inspiration, motivation. Actually, my target audience is if someone who's looking to buy or sell. It's not even you. But if you can gain inspiration from that, use it. Yeah. Go to my page. Look at the type of videos I post. Look at the kind of caption that I'm writing. Go ahead. The copy makes a big difference. Copy is a huge it's, difference. It's one of those unique things right. that a lot of people skip over. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. We're we're guilty of it on the podcast ourselves. Yeah. I don't spend enough time writing the copy for mm-hmm. each individual episode, but the show notes make a big difference. Right. Same thing when you're posting, right? Because people are are looking through a video, but that little bit of caption, that really little that little snippet of 70, sentence, seventy characters on Instagram before you had to click more. Right. Yeah. And those seventy characters. They could be the difference between and your your eyes are going to catch that little glimpse. Yeah, they're going to see the little headlines. We're headline readers, right? So you have to have a solid headline exactly. so that they're like, wait, maybe I do want to watch this video for a few more seconds, right? And it buys you time. That buys copy will time. buy you a little bit more attention. So when you're posting your video, you have to be very intentional about the thumbnail you're selecting. All right, so all of you guys who are out there, the thumbnail on Facebook when you post a video, you can click on the video on your desktop, expand it. Click the three little dots on the bottom right-hand screen of the video, and you can edit the video, and you can select a different frame. 
for your thumbnail. On Instagram, right before you post the video, you can actually, uh, um, one of the options prior to posting, it allows you to select the frame that you want to be the first one there. I actually take it a step further and I tell my media team, I want a custom image on that first slot. So this way, they all, it, it, I show what I want to be shown. It's not a frame within the video. So you have to show that first. Be very intentional about the thumbnail. It has to be attention grabbing. It has to be very clear and it has to be congruent with the first message, the first 70 characters on your Instagram. So it can't be, you can't be showing um, a pizza and then saying how to sell a house, right? Mm -hmm. That's not what we're doing. Shows Those two don't mix. They don't mix, incongruent. So show me something that's congruent, right? Show some smiles, show happiness, show something funny. Um, in, the, and the, in the ad copy, the best ones that are gonna work for you are questions, stats, quote, those kind of things. Um, one of my best performing copies was, I, I put a date on August 1st, 2020, da, 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 this happened. And it's like, well, you know, what was what it? What happened? What happened? Curiosity. Curiosity is the biggest thing, man. If you can play on a person's curiosity, that's the highest converting, I don't know, uh, style, I guess, of copy that you can write. Yeah, you're curiosity. creating a story loop. Yeah, create a story loop. Okay, so now keep this in mind. Your thumbnail leads people to the first sentence of your ad copy mm -hmm. before they have to click see more. That first sentence of 70 characters has to lead them to the second sentence. So you have to make sure that every single sentence that you're writing continues to allow that person to read through it and flow easily. You know who rock who rocks at that? Buzzfeed? Billy Jean. Bill oh dude. Dude, oh, that guy God. and that guy almost every single one of his emails that he sends yeah. out is like, I want more, 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 more. And I yeah. find myself reading all the way to the PSs in the bottom. P all, all the PSs. All the PSs, Even right? PSSS. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because I just like, okay, maybe he's going to tell me something a little bit more. All right. right. He's going to, every single thing leaves you with a cliffhanger to go on to the next sentence, that's go on to the is. next paragraph. Yeah. And that's, that's powerful. Yeah. Right. That's that, but that's deliberate. Deliberate. Because he didn't just, you know, willy nilly come up with mm -hmm. some sort of, you mm -hmm. know, email. Mm -hmm. This everything is structured, everything is delivered. And that's the kind of the intent, the focus that you need to have when you're doing your Facebook, whether you're doing your Instagram, whether you're doing your copy, yeah. all that stuff is deliberate. Really, really think about it. And that's and and mind you, here's the biggest issue with what you're talking about is it takes work. Yes. It, you know what I mean? Is, this is the part of the craft that you have to invest time into. So you have to go online, look at look at BuzzFeed, look at World Star Hip Hop, look at these big companies, look at um, WSJ, these big headlines that they're coming out with. The perfect example here in San Diego, follow every single news station and watch when they post. And look how creative those those uh, first 70 characters, I don't know how many characters on Facebook it is, but look at that first question, that first statement. That captures your attention, that's excellent. Use that kind of format. And then replace the words with whatever you want to use and have it congruent to your message that you're trying to deliver. And there goes your formats. See, it's Simple. not it's it's not exactly copying. No. Right. You're no. still being creative. Still being creative. You're just using a structure, you're using a template, using a template. That's right. It. Plug and play. That, that's what it's about. But again, dude, this is one of those things that every realtor can be successful. Uh, there's more uh, there's more business out there for more realtors to be successful, but the problem is they're not willing to do that extra work, right? right? I mean, we talked about it last time, picking up the phone and following up, that's the extra work. Taking your time to write your ad copy, that's the extra work. Yeah. Posting some content every single day that's deliberate and intentional, oh, yeah. that's the extra work. Yeah. And if you're not doing that, well, nobody knows who you are. Exactly. No one knows who you are. You and, don't get 40,000 followers. And, here, and here's the reason why. Because every single major uh, real estate coach that's out there and every other type of platform that's teaching people, it's based on old school sales methods. So you're cold calling, you're door knocking, you're probably sending mailers, you're farming, which is all good and it all works. That's totally fine. But social media really caught fire, I would say, really the latter part of 2018. But it's been growing since like 2014, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And I've watched it like evolve over the last few years. In 2019, I'm like, dude, this thing is saturated. Like it's getting crazy right now. Um, so anyway, my point is this, that there hasn't been enough case studies or enough people who've tested enough to see what works. Billy Jean has because he's a high volume person. So oh, yeah. they see what happens, right? And um, he's a perfect example of a good coach who can teach you how to do these kind of things. But um, the point is this, in real estate, it's not, it's not a, it hasn't been around long, right? So, um, you know, the Mike Ferries and things like that, they're teaching you old school sales tactics, which is totally cool and it works. But now it's time to switch it. Take those skills that you're investing into script practicing, which we all need to know, the foundations, but all those type of, all that time you're investing into that and invest it into, okay, I'm gonna sit in front of a computer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at BuzzFeed, I'm gonna figure out how to write a better headline, and there's a lot of programs out there that grade you on your ability to write a headline. 
and I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but there are actual programs out there. If you start playing with it, it'll say, okay, out of 100, we're giving you a 30 score. And then they break it off into like a pie chart where it's like 10% of it was emotional, 15% was urgency, uh, some of this was uh, curiosity, and they break it off, and you can strengthen that skill of ad copy within these programs. It's so amazing. Dude, there's so much out there that's gonna help you be better. Yes. We're just yes. not using it. Not using it, right? So that's your thumbnail, that's your first attention grabbing sentence. Use these templates, use those places as references. But ask the question. Also, keep this in mind, it's not about you, it's about the consumer. They don't care what you did, they wanna know what you can do for them. All right. So I'm, I have a lot of content, I push out a lot of content so I can vary with what I wanna do. It's not always, hey, do you wanna sell your home? That kind of stuff. It's sometimes like, hey, congratulations to Team Mendez, we did it again, right, is the first thing. Because that's more brand awareness. I want people to understand what we're doing. And if I add the again, then they're assuming it's been done multiple times, right? Right. So it's not just we sold a house. Well, you have done it multiple times, right? But I want them to see. Like, <laughs> I want them to see. So my go my job is to make sure the consumer sees that we're doing it multiple times with different families. One thumbnail, one image, one video, another image, and they're they're just seeing again, again, again. Yeah. But well, then I'll, then I'll switch it up. But I, what I like about your videos too is you have them in there. Yes. You're celebrating them and their accomplishments and what they have done. You're 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 there to help them you've right. helped them get to where they want to go but it's their victory it's their success and and they are going to want to share that video yeah so i mean you didn't get to forty thousand like overnight this is you building those relationships right giving them value yeah giving them the opportunity to share their experience because they're happy yeah they just bought their first home or yeah. they just sold their first you know their home yeah. whatever it is they're happy and you're highlighting their achievement so two things on that all right so two things one i want to start off by before i forget get this is the uh, make make the consumer make the client your home buyer your home seller make them the hero of the story mm -hmm. all right so focus on their accomplishments in order for a first-time home buyer to to buy a home it's a scary thought process and I talked to dozens of home buyers like all the time they're like Gabe I'm just so scared to contact you I'm afraid of reaching out and being rejected and so I have to like numb all those fears and make sure they're okay with it the second once we get them into the office the second thing is did they qualify if they do that means that their credit was in line, their debt to income ratio, they've done their taxes properly. There's so many milestones that I don't even think they appreciate on their own. Mm -hmm. That I'm looking at, I'm like, dude, you qualified for a three, four, five, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar home on your first try. Probably eight hundred thousand, but on your first try yeah, around yeah. there, like they do. Congratulations on that. Take a second to sit back and think about how you disciplined your credit score. Take a second to look back and be like, you know what? I was able to save this much money. I was able to file my taxes properly for the last two years. Like you did it. In other words, you're already won before you even started. Yes, and that is so amazing, right? And then for our homeowners, right, the, the ones who are selling the property, regardless if they're a first time home seller or not, like, hey, you've maintained the property in excellent condition. You allowed me to walk into this beautiful canvas, do what I do best, which is film it, take photos, and promote it on social media, but you're the one with the furniture. You're the one who listened to my suggestions. I just told you what I think you should do. You ran with it, and look, we were successful because of you. You allowed me to celebrate their victories. They're the hero of the story. We're just an instrument in their in the musical play. It's no wonder they rant and rave about you, right? <laughs> because you made them feel good. Yeah, man. It's, right. That's what. That's it's it's Gary Vee's thank you economy, right? Yeah. That's that's what we're talking about here. You're making them feel awesome. You're making them feel amazing. They're gonna come back and say, you know who's a great realtor, Gabe, right? Why? He made the experience awesome. He made me feel like yeah. a winner. He made me feel like a champion. You, you want to feel good? This is where you want to go, Yeah. right? This is who's going to help you out. Team Mendes is going to help you out. They're going to they're gonna walk you every step of the way. And you're right, they did it. They did it. The second thing, before I forget about the experience that he just touched on right now, I last year uh, at our company annual training, they brought up a statistic and they said that, uh, I think it was like summer of last year, that when they when they did a case study or interviewed a bunch of home buyers who purchased in 2017, they found out that the majority of people who had purchased their first home in 2017 had a better experience at a $50 dinner than they did buying their first home. People had a better experience on a $50 dinner with their friends and their family going out than they did buying their first home. But think about that for a second. Gosh. Like, like really dig into that. Why, why is that? Why is that? They so, got they get I mean think about when you go out with your friends and family. What's it all about? You you love being able to share what's going on in your life. Yeah. You love being able to share the accomplish, accomplishments that you've had. Your friends get to share their accomplishments. You're kind of in a in a situation where everybody's pr uh, praising each other. Right. 
when you're going in a home, when you're getting ready to buy traditionally with a real estate agent, you're you're getting ready for a door to be shut in your face. Yeah. Whether your offer is not accepted, whether you don't qualify, it's a bunch of negative aspects it of is. it, it's and it's scary. So scary. yeah, of course, dinner's better than buying a home. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're thinking, right? Yeah, that's exactly what they're thinking. That's actually what they tracked and they recorded, saying that more people had a better experience at dinner than they did buying their first home. And I was like, not never with us. In like, so it's important for you guys to make sure that as that transaction is happening, you're holding their hand, you're a part of everything, and you're making it fun. So we like to create these videos so the family can go back and look on it, look upon it. Uh, them standing in the office, taking their first picture with the approval check. Like, hey, these are huge monumental victories for you. You look back in a few years and be like, dude, we came so far and when it's time three or four or five years down the road to upgrade you to another home we're just documenting this whole thing for you so you can look back and say look what we did look when i was growing up if i wanted to look back at memories i pulled out the photo album that was, yep. right mm -hmm. and the photo album has nothing but smiles every once in a while you got chion over here crying right because that's what he did <laughs> but for the most part there's smile after smile after smile even though in real life there's ups and downs right yeah. there's tears in between there's there's fights in between there but you you capture all those happy moments yeah so i don't know about you i i think you do this i'm pretty sure you do this maybe a year after that you send them a little video clip reminder hey remember this thanks th you know thanks for being a great client and it's nothing but the positives they yeah. don't remember the negatives at all Ever. you're sending them their photo album yeah. of the biggest accomplishment that they've it's, that they've had it's so awesome man it's so awesome so all right so let's talk about i want to that easily transitions into like, how do we get people to feel comfortable doing that, right? Yeah. So okay, that's a big question that I have a lot of people out there is like, how do you get your clients to feel comfortable being on camera to doing that stuff? So number one is I've been doing it for so long that I feel that when they approach us for our services to buy or sell, they're kind of expecting that already, right? Yeah. And, I, and there's a lot of people who are unopened to it and that's totally okay. We're not here to just to promote you and on social media, it's about your service in which we kill it. But how do you get them to feel comfortable? So number one, I feel that we've been doing it for so long, they kind of expect it already. Uh, but we always ask, right? You always ask. And at the, our, during our buyer, buyer consultation, we have a conversation with them at the very beginning. Like, hey, how did you hear about us? Social media, great. Which post was it that you, that you found out? Or which post was it that, that caught your attention? Oh, it was this family. For example, today it happened today. Oh, it was this family, young family that purchased their first home. And I was thinking, if they're young, I'm young. If they bought a home, I can buy a home. I'm like, exactly, right? So I'm like, so it wasn't me on camera telling you, like, hey, you should buy your home, you can qualify. I was like, no, I'm like, it was someone else, right? She's like, yes. I'm like, that's exactly why we do it. If I were to stand on camera all the time, talking to you guys, you'd see me as a salesperson. And I don't want that. I want you guys to be able to relate and know that because of us as an instrument, you guys are using us to get to where you want to be. And I can do that and show you that's true by sharing someone else's story and someone you can relate to. So the girl that we met with today, she'd been following us for an entire year on Instagram. Crazy, an entire year. I'm like, whoa. And she, she was like, it was finally time. I'm like, so was it just one post? She's like, no, I clicked on one post. And then after that, she got pixelated. So <laughs> <laughs> she got retargeted. Yeah. For a lot of you guys who don't know what that is, that means retargeted. And a lot of our videos started to pop up on her feed. And it wasn't just one video, right? So again, I'm talking to you marketers. It just wasn't one video. It was one video that caught her attention, but it was, a, a, it was a, I guess, a series of videos that she continued to watch that allowed her to get to know us better. She, under, she understood what I was about. She understood what my value system was because she checked out my resume on Instagram. She saw that I had a fiance, that we have two kids. She saw that we specialize in first time home buying, that we sell homes quickly, all those type of things. And she's following it to make sure that I'm being consistent, right? She, cause I have a strong belief system that if I were to fall out of character or mess up and become someone else, she'd be like, Ooh, okay, probably not. All right. So I'm going to watch for a while because I'm skeptical because you're an Instagram guy. Yeah. I don't even know you. Right. And if I dropped the ball, but I was consistent. But, but you know, that whole thought process of, I don't even know you, I'm, I'm almost throwing that out the window because I do know you. I've seen you. Yes. I've been watching yes. you. It's, it's over and over and over. for a whole year. I've been watching you. So I do know you. Yes. If I was to bump into you in the street, I would say, what's up, Gabe? Yeah. You might not know who I am, but I would know you. And honestly, that's exactly how it was today. She walked in with a big old smile. Her husband walked in. Well, her boyfriend walked in right next to her. They're like, hey, what's up? Man? I'm like, hey, what's going on, guys? Nice to meet you guys. And dude, the entire buyer consultation, we were laughing, like just having a great time. And it was because she knew who I was already, which is such an awesome experience. When you can attract the type of people that you want to work with, that's the power of social media. Back again, full circle. Who are you, right? So brand and what kind of client do you want to go after? All right, and make sure they're congruent with who you are. 
respect those others, the the, the uh, stepping into other territories and other boundaries because we wouldn't go to another foreign country without learning how to say hi, bye, thank you, please. Mm-hmm. We need to learn the basics. What law, what are the laws over there? We learn the basics. Take that same ideology and place it into social media. You're going to walk into their world. They're not going to walk into yours. And when they walk into there, what are they going to see? So brand yourself. What's branding? It's just a culmination of ideas and things that people think about you before they even get to know you. So if they're scrolling on my social media and they see that, again, I have kids and all these things, they're going to be able to formulate an idea about me. This is their brand. This is what they do. They have fun. They're successful. They're happy. He's a family person. That's the Gabe Mendes brand. So when you come with us, that's the type of experience you're going to get. And you can relate to us. It's uh, essentially you're trying to make yourself a mini celebrity right Right. you are a reality tv show and you need to show everybody what your reality is yes all right well speaking of transitions you had a major one this year yeah yeah had a big one man. that was that was a big move dude so oh man i love it so i love it a lot and um so what happened was i've been talking with the idea back and forth and i wasn't sure if i wanted to do it I had a conversation with a lot of people in the, in the Bible that says, seek wise counsel before you make any decisions. So I sat with multiple people having this conversation about going from a 100% brokerage to a um, split, a split, to a split, right. And everyone's like, don't do it, it's a step backwards, that model's dying and everything like that. But it wasn't, the, it wasn't that, it was the fact that I was aligning with a company whose vision aligned with mine, mm-hmm. right? I don't care about 100% commission. That's not what I'm in the business You're for. You're closing enough deals where it makes no difference. It doesn't make a difference, right? Like I'm trying to grow the brand, I'm trying to grow our presence, I want people who support it, and I want people who believe in me and what my bigger vision is too. And so my bigger vision aligned with their biggest vision, and I was able to fit that in, and, it, okay, and they told me, we can get you there. So um, after a few months of debating about it, I made the move over to Century 21 Award. I made it over with Phil Romero, David Romero, uh, Angela Avila. It was the best decision I've made ever. I'm so happy. Uh, a lot of support, and not, not to mention the fact that they have their own marketing team behind it. So everything was just so perfect. Teams are happy, the structures are in place, It's uh, the trainings, everything was there for us. And I was able to take the business last year from where I think I'd only closed up until May of last year. It was about, I think, 10 transactions, and I had nearly tripled it by the end of the year because of the support that we had through our trainings, the videography, imagery, all those things. And I have monthly meetings with the marketing team where we sit down, we redesign everything. Um, just so all of you guys know out there, we're planning on changing our theme every every quarter. Like so, your team? No, the uh, uh, the color scheme, the way we market our, all of our marketing material every single quarter. So, you know, most people, they take one headshot yeah. and they have one color scheme and that's it forever in perpetuity, right? That's mostly how it is until you change companies. Yeah. Not us. So what we're going regularly, to, regularly. Hey man, you know what? Sometimes you got to take a shower. Sometimes you got to freshen up, right? <laughs> it's the same thing you're doing here in the digital yeah, world, right? Just change just it up, freshen up a freshen little up bit, a little bit. So we were the winter quarter was black and gold, so everything was black and gold. And then now for the spring summer season, we're probably going to carry it for those two seasons. I'm not sure yet, uh, but definitely for the spring season, we're going white and gold on all of our coloring. So we took brand new headshots, uh, redesigning our business cards, our open house signs, for sale signs, everything, just so we're constantly changing with the seasons and, and keeping fresh on people's mind. And we feel that by making this decision that we'll, we'll stay on top of mind a lot more and we'll be able to grab more attention that way also. And it matches the, the mood and the feel of people's overall like physiology, right? In summertime, I'm a lot different than I'm in wintertime. So show me something that's lively. Show me something that's fun. Like, am I going to add gold? Am I going to add teal? Am I going to add blue to the color scheme? I want to portray that. You know, am I going to take the tie off and have a button up that's wide open, you know, by the beach and roll up the sleeves? That kind of look, that's all important. Well, yeah. that's, that's how deep we're getting into marketing. And, well, you think about it. You live in San Diego. We're yeah. uh, we're a hoodies and flip flop town. Yeah, 100%, right. Man, 100%, and so yeah. so you kind of got to live up to that. Our summers are pretty much all year, with the exception of maybe two three months here in the yeah. winter, where we might put some pants on, right? <laughs> but other than that, I mean, we still walk around with flip flops for the most yeah. part. Yeah. So so you know the you were talking about earlier about you know knowing your demographic, mm-hmm. and that's the difference, right? Yeah. When it becomes summer and everybody's chill and laid back and out there and having fun, ready to make some big moves, but they're relaxed. Yeah. Maybe the button up isn't. isn't the way to go right? right right but they don't see that unless you portray that unless right. you show them show that them that's that. also you because yes. i've seen some videos where you're just like jumpsuit and tennis shoes and you're gonna go and have a good time with the clients that just closed throwing a you know a party that's yeah. that's a thing because that's you that's me that's how you that's, I, I think i just literally posted that i was in a jumpsuit with a hat and we closed closing day yeah. no suit no tie no button up nothing just 
running shoes and that was it yeah and it's, that's it's okay am. that's okay that's okay that's we're, totally we're okay. you know most of the time this is game yeah right yeah but you don't go to sleep in a suit i don't go to sleep in a suit right <laughs> <laughs> Just chonies and that's it. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, Instagram, we don't need to see all that. But no, you're not, you're, you'll, you'll never see that. <laughs> but but there's also, you know, Gabe that's not in a suit. Gabe that's relaxed and, you know, on a day off, but a client calls and needs something and you're there. Yeah. Right? And so yeah. it doesn't matter that you're not wearing a suit at that time because you're, we're, all, we're all people. We're doing different things at different times. Right. And that's the real part. That's the part that we're talking about for everybody else that – it's, it's time to see who we are because people are going to know, love, and trust you. Exactly. Be real. So in all of your footage and all of your photos, be real. Be you. Be who you are. Be true to yourself. Be true to your values and your belief systems. Don't be afraid to talk about them, to speak about them. Again, you know, my family with my belief in God, those kind of things. Em- embrace those type of things, right? Now, again... When it comes to posting, I'm not big on posting much about religion and controversial topics. I let people, I let it be known that I am, uh, but I'm not big on that, right? Because again, we still are a business. So we have to treat mm-hmm. our, treat it like a business, but be real, right? So in your ad copy, be real, but you have to be intentional, deliberate. Um, also in your thumbnails and photos, be real, be deliberate, right? So keep that image on you. You brought up a good point earlier, which was you have to live your life like a reality show. Back in 2012, my uh, mentor back then told me the exact same thing. He said, Gabe, I want you to walk around 24 seven like you have a camera watching you. How would you act? I was like, whoa. And then I, and then I foresaw myself, I was like, you know what? This is who I eventually want to be. Mm-hmm. And so I started acting like that, right? I started posting like that. I started dressing like that. And it wasn't fake, it was who I was becoming. I'm always becoming, right? And so who do I want to be next? And so show that. If you feel that you want to be a, uh, someone who's well-spoken, doesn't talk so wildly like I do with their hands all the time, like be that person and become that person, train yourself that way. And then show it on social media document everything because if people don't see it they don't believe it the other thing is is if you live your life like somebody's watching it makes you step up to the plate more yeah right yeah. like I mean, or or when you're physically actually have somebody watching right yeah. that really <laughs> makes a big difference because all of a sudden you can't bs your way through it right right you yeah. you didn't go to the gym that day well hey guess what everybody saw you didn't go to the gym that day yeah. you didn't make your calls that day guess what everybody saw you didn't make your calls yeah. that day you didn't post content well guess what everybody's watching and you didn't post content yeah. and that's the difference between you know it doesn't mean get somebody to follow you all day if you can that's great but act like it act like it act like it be the person that you intentionally either are at this point in your in your business and you're killing it or if you want to get to that point be that person yeah because otherwise you're gonna just you know hey game of thrones is coming up you can binge watch all the seasons <laughs> if you want right i, I mean wa- you can watch that show by no? the way mm. I, I saw i saw zombie post that too and yeah. I, I, i've watched it yeah. I, I like is the it, show it cool? it's a good show it's yeah. a good show but but i mean to kill that many hours to do oh, that sort of stuff oh my god Dude, that's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. And, and don't get me wrong, it's all. I, I'm I'm really a big believer of enjoy your life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If that's your thing, that's your thing. That's my right. that's not my thing. Right. Right. My thing is my thing is like my mind just doesn't shut off. Mine too. Right. And so I'm always going. Yeah. Now, I do have a spouse. I do have kids. Right. So at some point, we're we're gonna do their stuff. And that's okay too. Yeah. But find your happy medium. Find the happy medium. Find and, the happy medium. And, and show that to people. And show that to people. So show them on a Friday night, you eating pizza with your family. Like, go ahead and post that. Now, be deliberate. Fix the lighting a little bit. You mm-hmm. know, get a flash going. If you're, if you have a, if you have light behind you, maybe change your position. But you know, be deliberate about it because Instagram's all about quality images and quality video. So be deliberate, but show them that stuff. Show them the Friday night pizza outing. Show them that you're not perfect. Show them that you're human. Those kind of things, so they can relate to you. Um, also, when you're posting things, be cognizant of that, right? Because there's better times to post and better days to post. I've learned that Thursdays, for my demographic, is the best time to post whenever I want to deliver a message. Um, I think overall, two to like six daily is always the best time to post. Mondays, motivation, first thing in the morning. Think of the psychology of the person who's actually on social media. Mm-hmm. What's happening on Monday? Everyone's just dreading Monday, right? So hit them with a the motivational quote. You'll see it outperform than posting it on a Friday. And on a Friday afternoon, what do I post? Well, dude, I'm chilling out with my chunklas with my friends and my family. We're having a beer, right? We're just relaxing. That's what everybody else is doing. That's what everyone else is doing. They want to relate to it. So go ahead and show that stuff. Be deliberate. Have a good quality image, a good thumbnail if it's a video. Write the ad copy out. Save the ad copy because you can use it as a template in your notes. And then continue to build from there, right? And then have some sort of theme to your Instagram. Know what you want to post. My theme is photo, photo, video. 
right? So I always post two pictures and it's a video. Sometimes my video will have a border around it, like where I'll have my cityscape going, like the progress bar, and sometimes it won't be, right? And so it just kind of depends. And I'm kind of fixing that a little bit, but have a theme to your business. So when they look at it, it's, it's, it's pleasing. Again, people are on there for a certain reason. They're on social media because they want to see pretty things and things like that happen. Um, let's see what else. I don't know what else can I tell you guys? No, dude. <laughs> What else do you guys want to know? Are right? asking any there's questions? a ton. There's yeah. a, I mean, there's a ton of information that's just, uh, if, if, if there's one core thing that I've heard you say in, in today's show is be intentional, be yourself and post post consistently, consistently post consistently. Cause that's yeah. going to be the, you can get better at the ad copy. You can get bit better at the video copy. You can get better at the audio copy, Yeah. but you have to do. Yes. Be consistent, be deliberate. Done Done is always better than perfect, okay, you guys? So if you're sitting there thinking, dude, I don't have a media team, I don't have this and that, that's okay because I'd rather you get it done than it be perfect. Um, but if you can upgrade your cell phone to a better high-resolution camera phone, if you can purchase a used camera, camcorder, use those kind of things in those tools, invest in learning how to use iMovie. You got your cell phone. But you have your cell phone. It's like the, in, Everything you need is right at uh, the palm of your hand. Yes. Upgrade the frames per second on your video. It's going to look a little crispy, but I would like to do that 60 frames per second if you're going to do it from your cell phone because when you upload it, you'll lose a little bit of quality, but it still looks crispy, right? So 60 frames per second if you're recording on that. Build your brand. Document everything thing you're doing importantly tell a story about everything you're doing because keep this in mind facts tell stories sell i've been saying that since you were on my show last time facts tell stories sell give them the highlights but don't lead with that share the story highlight the consumer and then when you're sitting across from them let them know what you do which i didn't get a chance to finish that point earlier when you're sitting across from them let them know this is why you do it which is why we do it because there may be someone that this client today who, whose story can reach out to someone else that my message couldn't get to. So ask them, hey, is it okay if we document this? Are you okay with us putting it? Then get the, the, the waiver, have them sign it right there on the spot, and then you have the okay. And then you're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to rock and roll, and then document the whole thing, and then share it with them so they can share it. Add them on social media, have fun like that, right? So um, yeah, you know, and then the highlights, the bio, all that stuff matters. You all guys have your highlight covers on, on fleek. You can just go on, get Fiver. on point. Just, just get on point. Fiverr. Fiverr does it. Fiverr does cheap. it for you. You can download that free app. What's it called? Um, there's another free app where you can graphic design. You can pay for it too. I don't remember the name. What's it? Over. Over. That's another one for you guys. Um, Typorama. That's another one that I love where you can add a text overlay on top of your text, uh, uh, your images for Instagram. It's also a free app. Or you need help. There's also uh, Visionary Media. Shout out to my boy Visionary Media and shout out to my boy Juan de Creative. If you guys need anyone for media purposes, those are your to two go-to guys right there, man. I love my boys. I support them. God bless them both. They're doing successful. Um, more importantly, the last thing I want to mention on that biography, make sure that biography clearly explains who you are and what you do. All right, let them go on there and see exactly who you are and what you do. So if you're becoming an influencer, a lender, a real estate agent, an escrow officer, be proud of it, put it out there, <coughs> and then add a link tree to your bio because that one link will redirect people to many other links. That's right. Dude, hell of a show. Bro. I, I, I'm, you know, usually you, you do a show and then you have like, you know, a couple little pearls. Dude, it's just raining on this one. It's just oh, raining man. fire the to, whole time. I wanted time. to come with fire today, man. I wanted to, I just wanted to give. I wanted to give. That's why I'm glad we pushed up the date because I was like, yeah. there was like this urge in my heart, man, like my gut. I was like, dude, I need to tell people how this works. One like, more thing, you got yeah. a big event coming up really soon next week, right? I have three big events coming up. So I have on the 18th, I'll be doing a speaking engagement. I'll be sharing the stage with Jason Cassidy. Shout out to my boy Jason. Jason. Um, and I believe her name is May. She invited us over to the downtown caravan on the 18th. On the 25th of April, the NAREP La Jolla Post, Pivot, and Adjust event. If you guys are any real estate professionals who are out there, even marketers or anyone in real estate um, at that at, for that point, you want to be at this event. They're going to be talking about the economy, how things are changing, what the forecast is looking like. Jason and I, again, will be sharing the stage talking about Instagram and how to build your Instagram profile. Um, and then on the 26th, I'll be going to Rancho Santa Margarita to speak in front of another uh, office, Century 21 Award, and sharing with the agents there at that office how to leverage social media and how to get business from it. Oh, uh, I think I know where your next career is going. What's that, my man? Tell Public me. Public speaking, my brother. Toastmaster <laughs> champion, <laughs> putting up as much content as yeah, possible, man. spitting raining <laughs> fire. Like, that's going to be the next step for you, dude. I can, I, I'm calling it right now. What is it? What are we have? April 12th? Oh, shout out to mom and dad. It's their anniversary. I had oh, to throw that out there. Mom and dad, shout out to you guys. Uh, woo, almost <laughs> forgot that one. But, uh, dude, April 12th, 2019, I'm calling it. That's going to be the next gig for uh, 
for Mr. Gabe Mendez here, just being on stage, like I, sharing. It's funny. I've spitting. already. I've done it for Toastmasters already. I've done the competition thing. Yeah. Pretty cool. But it's different when you're getting paid for it. Oh, I know. All right. It'd be fun, All man. Right. I, I, I want to be a YouTuber, man. I want to be a family vlogger. That's my, that's my goal. That's a fun one. That's a fun one, you man. You got a good family. I'm, yeah. I'm working on that, too. We're getting the... We're, we're, yeah, working on that too. That's gonna so be a fun I, thing. If I have, I have one request. Can I ask? Yeah, one of question? course. Hey, you guys, listen. I have one request. If you received any value from today, if you're a real estate agent, a title officer, escrow officer, anyone who received any type of value from today, one favor to ask you: go to my YouTube channel, San Diego Realtor, where you can type in Gabe Mendez. It'll come up and subscribe to our channel. My fiance, my son Elliot Sky, our daughter Haley Lynn. We're growing our family channel. We're over thirty thousand subscribers right now. Our engagement video has over three million views worldwide. And we're planning on launching and doing more videos for that. So please go support it if you receive any value. Thank you, guys. Dude, I love it. Yeah. Love it. Pure love fire. It. Uh, hey, just a reminder, everybody. Uh, well, first of all, Gabe, thanks, man, for coming on the show. Dude, thank you. It was, dude, honor to be uh, right here talking to you and, and learning just so much so much content, dude. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, every time I sit down and talk to you, every time I watch your stuff on social media, it is value, value, value. It is just content that I can learn from, that I can implement, that I can turn around and put into effect today to yeah. make something happen tomorrow. Document it, man. Document everything. Come here. I want you to say hi right here. Yeah. Say hi right here. You guys, document everything, okay? Document it all. We're documenting right here. Juan the Creative, so document it. That's right. Renee, you want to jump on this side? Yes, say hi to everybody. I mean, they saw you in the background too, right? They yeah. saw you in the yep. background, but you're there. And that's the whole point, right? It's just get it out there. Get, get it, it recorded. There, get it out there. Yeah. You're fun. Fun, man. You're fun. Let everybody else see you how much fun life. you're having. It's a good time, man. Every day above ground is a good day, man. Enjoy it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there are some people who aren't having as much fun, and we want to make sure we provide shoes for the homeless, 365 pairs by the end of the year. So if you have any lightly used, gently used shoes, let us know, james at csfirst.com, or hit him up, 619-884-0045. He'll jump on his Harley, roll over there, pick those shoes up, uh, and we appreciate your donations. Uh, we're, right, we're, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're getting more and more donations. Nations, and we're going to start document the ones that we pick up so that you guys can see that it's happening. Uh, but we appreciate everybody who's already contributed. And we're going to break and we're going to hit that in no no time. So no time at all. Yeah. Also, you guys want to be on the show or you want to have a guest that you think should be on the show? Hit me up. Hernan at CSFirst.com, 619-884-4915. Or follow us on our social at Business Bros Pod. That's all we got for you guys today. Peace. Bye-bye. And I'm out. Love you, Facebook. Love you, Facebook. Thank you. Peace. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Fire. Fire, bro. Damn. Glad I took that five-hour energy shot before I showed up, man. <laughs> oh, it's good, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you. Dude, you. Oh.